Well, presbyopia remains the holy grail of refractive surgery. It's difficult to treat. At one time, it was impossible to treat. Laser eye surgery itself has never really dealt very well with presbyopia. The nearest we've come in trying to use multifocal uh, corneas was various techniques that have really failed to gain traction. They just haven't become popular. That usually means that they haven't really worked all, all that well. For example, trying to use a technique called supracore or intracore to provide a sort of a multifocal cornea didn't really work that well. So we're left with one or two other strategies. In relation to laser, a lot of patients in the past have tried something called monovision, or a lesser version of that would be blended vision, where one eye is made a bit better for reading and the other eye is made better for distance. And personally, I would only do that sort of treatment for them if they'd already done that with contact lenses. And sometimes I send patients away uh, to try contact lenses where one eye is for reading and one eye is for far. It sounds a little bit odd, and when you suggest it to patients, the reaction is sometimes a bit, you know, they're startled by how could that possibly work. But it is remarkable how often it works. It works more often than it fails. The way it's set up is that the dominant eye, very often it's the right eye statistically, is set for distance, and the left eye is set for reading. Um, and the brain does a pretty good job in the majority of patients in helping uh, the whole thing to be adapted uh, so that they can actually function quite well. It's not a perfect solution. But with laser, there is no technique that allows patients to zoom in the way they used to zoom in 20 or 30 years before. It, it just doesn't exist. With lens replacement surgery, it's a slightly different story. Um, there, we do have multifocal lens implants. And there are different designs and different styles, and individual surgeons will have their own preferences. But with a multifocal lens implant, as part of, for example, a cataract operation, Patients can manage to do intermediate reading. They can read the bigger prints. Sometimes they can read newspapers and textbooks and books, uh, and at the same time see pretty well in the distance. So at least with lens replacement surgery or multifocal uh, refractive lens exchange, they can do a little bit of both. But I'd have to come back to the point that there's nothing that provides a perfect solution for presbyopia at the present time.